Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got part two of the big haul that I had made on September 1st. As I said, they were in two separate orders placed at the same time. So the first part arrived a few days ago earlier, earlier this week, and that is already up back on my channel. You can go take a look at that if you want to. The second part is today, and this part is the new stuff. This part is the holiday early access bars, the October warmer and scent of the month, and the breast cancer awareness collection. So I have got all of the new and early access things here today to kind of go through with you. Um, if you hear like hippopotamus slurping in the background, that's my dog having a drink of water. Um, so first of all, we will do a first sniff. I've not sniffed this bar at all of the new scent of the month for October. This is pumpkin cashmere. So we got pumpkins on the packaging. It is a pale orange, like bright pale orange wax. Here is the brochure. So the warmer this month is gorgeous. It is very similar to the Enchanted Pumpkin that we had last year and a couple previous years. I have the Enchanted Pumpkin. It's one of my absolute favorite warmers. It's a fantastic performer. It probably gets the hottest of all of my fall warmers. Um, then we have the Starry Pumpkin, which is kind of like a sister to it. The Enchanted Pumpkin has a metal cage that kind of comes down in between the grooves of the pumpkin lines. Um, the Starry Pumpkin does not have that. So they're fairly similar. This one has a longer little stem and does not have the cage on the outside and it doesn't have the little stand that the uh, Enchanted Pumpkin had on the bottom. So sisters but not twins and so pretty. I could not resist this warmer. I had to get it. So this one is a 20 watt warmer, a 20 watt bulb and it does light up of course. And it is kind of an orange tone when it's unlit. So it is kind of, it looks like it might be orangier tone than the Enchanted Pumpkin. We're gonna plug it in in a, in a minute and find out anyways. Um, but yeah, so the scent of the month is Pumpkin Cashmere. Sensi's description of the scent is, surround yourself with a captivating combination of warm cinnamon, bountiful pumpkin, and cozy cashmere woods. It's in the spice category. And for top notes, we have pumpkin. For mid notes, we have cinnamon. And for base notes, we have cashmere woods. And they've got like leaves and a scarf for the cashmere woods. So there is the breakdown. We got pumpkins, cinnamon, and cashmere woods in the base. And that is what we're looking at for the scent. So I'm expecting a spicy but sweet and kind of cozy pumpkin scent. So I'm excited for this one. I expect to enjoy this one. So it's very much what I expected. So this is very, very nice. Okay. The bottom has something a little peppery almost. What is that? That's a note I've not smelled before in Scentsy. This is something new. It's almost like a... What is that? Almost like something a little hint. Almost licorice -y, but don't be scared because it's not like super licorice -y. But there's something almost like spiced... I mean, there is cinnamon here, but there's also something else. There's something else spicy here besides cinnamon. And it's almost reading as peppery to my nose. But overall, this is a very sweet kind of gourmand pumpkin scent. The cashmere woods aren't super woodsy. There is some wood here, but this is mostly a very sweet cashmere gourmand pumpkin. Very pretty. I would say medium strength, probably better suited to smaller spaces, but I'm going to try it in my open layout and we'll see how it does. So I will do a warm review of this in a future what I've been warming video. I'll probably actually do a warm review video in general for these new scents. So in the warm review video, I will do warm reviews of the holiday collection, the breast cancer awareness collection, and I might even throw the pumpkin cashmere in that as well. So it'll either be in what I've been warming or it'll be a separate warm reviews for all the new stuff here. So keep an eye out for that in the next week or two. Now let's unbox this warmer. So there's the box. And now I'm gonna edit this part out because it's just me fiddling through a box and taking packaging out. See you in a second. So here she is unlit, very orange, does have the mercury glass little holes. I would say the holes on this one in the mercury glass look smaller than the ones in the Enchanted Pumpkin. So the Enchanted Pumpkin's holes are quite large. This one has very like speckly type holes. So there's that. This one does have a cord cut out in the base. And then it's got a very like standard glass dish. So this one has the same type of lid as like the Fall Fairy Tale Pumpkin Warmer. Similar shape. The Enchanted Pumpkin Warmer is more domed. It is 
Also got a shorter, thicker stem. This one is a longer stem. This is the same warmer, I would say, lid as the Fall Fairy Tale, except this is painted like a textured black. So that's what it looks like on. Super, super cute. And I do have my Fall Fairy Tale sitting right next to me here. So here's the Fall Fairy Tale lid. Here is the, um, and here's the Starry Pumpkin lid. Um, so yeah, I would say they're identical. Just this one's got like a, like a textured finish in black and this one is just kind of the the brush silver so there are the lids i am going to go behind me and plug this in all right moment of truth here we go so here she is unlit and gorgeous like beautiful burnt orange color and we're gonna light it up oh my gosh oh my gosh it is very orange i would say the glass is orange tinted so where the Enchanted Pumpkin has a kind of warm yellowy glow, this one looks like you have an orange bulb in it, even though it's a clear bulb. This one, I would say the glass inside is tinted orange, or there's some kind of orange finish here. This is gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh. I love it so much, like so, so much. So there it is. Here it is, lit up. I would say it's similar in size to the Enchanted Pumpkin, except the Enchanted Pumpkin is a bit taller because it does have a bit of a base on it. This one does not have the little base, so it's going to be just slightly shorter, which means it should look pretty sitting next to it or sitting on the same shelf as the Enchanted Pumpkin because they're very similar, but not identical. So not too, too symmetrical, but enough that they match. That is gorgeous. That is the newest addition to my pumpkin patch of pumpkin warmers, and I could not be happier. That is beautiful. So. There is that one, and it almost has like a blurred effect when you're looking at it, like at the bottom. Not so much that when you look at it head on, but like the bottom where the light is like, it's almost like a, like a galaxy type effect. I'm trying to capture that. I don't know if you can see, but like, especially near the bottom here, it's almost like a blurred galaxy type effect. It's kind of cool. So that's beautiful. I love this. I cannot wait to get that set up where I want to put it. Um, I'm going to sit it over here for now. I'm gonna turn it off too, because it's gonna be hot and then I won't be able to move it around. That's the warmer, could not be happier. That will be available October 1st um, at 10% off. So the pricing on that one in Canadian dollars is going to be $77.40. And I think it'll probably be, it, it will be less in US dollars. I'll put the US pricing here below. And yeah, this is a very pretty scent. I think if you, oh, I know what this reminds me of. I think if you liked the Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin from last Harvest Bundle, like last year, this kind of reminds me a bit of Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. Um, similar spice profile, similar vanilla tones, and I think that is what that's reminding me of. So there is that one. Really enjoy this. This probably won't be a club bar for me, but I do really like it and I'm glad I have a few of them. And I think if you're a pumpkin lover, this will be a must try, especially if you're like a cozy lo pumpkin lover. If you like bakery, I think you should probably give this a try. Um, who else would like this? Spice lovers would probably like this. If you like vanilla, this would be a must try. So there is that one. So the next two collections are the Holiday Collection and the Pink uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. And this one will be available October 1st. And this will be the same kind of format as the Harvest Bundle was, where you can purchase all five of these bars separately or in a regular six pack bundle, or you can purchase it with in the five pack with the bag. So the bag is super cute. It is a very small bag, but super, super cute. And it does hold a six pack quite nicely, even though this only comes with five bars. So there's that. So first we'll jump into the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. Now, I got the Early Access Kit, which includes the four bars. Um, the Pink Awareness Collection or the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection is going to be launching October 1st at midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time. It will include these four bars, which you can buy in a box. And I'm gonna double check. So these particular bars will not be available in the bundle and save, and I suspect that's probably because when you purchase these items, there is a donation built in to nonprofit breast cancer organizations. So, um, so they won't be available for bundle and save. You can purchase them this way in a box, or they can be added to club in, I think, later that month. Yes, so starting on November 1st, so a month after these launch, these will be available to be added to your club. Um, the ones that are in your club will not include a breast cancer nonprofit donation, just the ones in the box here will. Um, there will also be a warmer. There will be a couple items in the consultant store, including a blanket and a water bottle tumbler. Both of those items also have donations built in. 
as does the Scentsy Warmer and the Buddy. There's going to be a Tiger Buddy um, and it will have a donation built in as well. So great cause to support. You can actually nominate nonprofit breast cancer charities at their website here. It's sensicharitablecause.com. So if you know of a reputable breast cancer charity or nonprofit organization, you can go to that website and nominate them to receive some of the proceeds for this for this campaign. So onto the actual bars and the sniffs themselves. Now I have smelled these. I've also given these to my family to smell as well. Um, so I have some opinions that are my own and I also have other opinions to bring to you as well. Um, so these are overall kind of a fruity floral set, the four bars. Um, and I tend not to be a fruity floral person. So if you're a fan of fruit and fruity florals, I think you're gonna have to try these. These are gonna be right up your alley. Um, if you like the things that were in the summer, like maybe like Aloha Orchid and some of those other kind of fruity floral scents we had, I think you're going to be really happy with these. Um, I'm just not a fruity floral person. So while I think these are okay overall, they're not going to be like mind blowing ones for me just because of the types of scents they are. But I am happy to be supporting the breast cancer charities. So the first one we have here is Turn Up the Pink. This one is Sparkling Citrus adds an uplifting flourish to Gardenia Blossom and Rosewood. So this one is a fruity floral. I do get the citrus. I do get the kind of like gardenia. It's kind of reading, it's reads like a kind of powdery white floral. It's okay. It is really tempered by the citrus. The rosewood is not rose. It's more like a like kind of just deep, adds a bit of a base note to it. It's a very well-balanced, well-blended, classic fruity floral. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a like pineapple hibiscus cousin or something like that. Um, kind of just along that line. It's really nice. So there's that one. Um, really nice. Smells to be on the lighter side. Next we have Positively Pink. This is kind of a raspberry colored one. This one is raspberry and vanilla balance rich sandalwood in a soothing blend with a touch of sweetness. So raspberry, vanilla, and sandalwood. And this one is probably my favorite of the four. Yes, this is pretty. This one is definitely a raspberry. It's really nice. This one is like a raspberry. I do smell sandalwood here as well. And it is kind of a sweet, well-grounded scent. Um, I think if you like a nice deep berry scent or a nice deep fruity scent, this is one of those. It's really, really quite pleasant. Reminds me of something and I can't quite put my finger on what. Maybe like, again, a cousin of black raspberry vanilla, which is a very popular scent. This one is a bit deeper and I do smell more of a wood tone in this than I do in black raspberry vanilla. Black raspberry vanilla has like a musk tone to it. This doesn't have a musk tone. This has a like woodsy tone to it with that sandalwood, but it is kind of like a berry vanilla type scent, not black raspberry. This is more of a, a raspberry raspberry, but it's nice. This is probably my favorite of the four. I would say like a light medium to medium on cold sniff. Next up, we have I Pink I Can. This one is a lively mix of coconut water, tropical stone fruit, which is like, I think like plum and peach and that kind of thing. The ones that's like the pits. Uh, and hibiscus nectar, encourage positivity. So we have coconut water, some fruity notes, and hibiscus nectar. So that'll be like a sweeter hibiscus note. And this reminds me a lot of Aloha Orchid, which was a scent of the month of this summer. This one smells a lot like that. I think this one, I think I prefer this one to Aloha Orchid, but I think if you liked Aloha Orchid, you need to give this one a try. So this is I Pink I Can. Um, it is a classic, again, summer fruity floral. This one to me reads June, July, very, very summery. There is the creaminess of the coconut water. There is kind of the sweetness of that nectar note they used a lot this past summer. And hibiscus, yes, there is kind of that tart floral. It's not like a super floral, powdery, perfumey floral. It is a tart summer floral. Um, and stone fruit, I'm not getting anything specifically. Well, yeah, I guess I, could, I guess you could say it's peach. It didn't scream peach at me until I read that, but now I could see it being peach. Peach or nectarine or something along that line, or maybe nectarine. Yeah, so it is a bright summer fruity floral. This is actually very pleasant. I like this. Um, again, maybe like a light medium to medium on cold sniff, but I'm looking forward to warming this one. It does read more summery to me. Um, all of these bars actually do, but yeah. The last one here I do not care for on cold sniff, and I don't think I'm going to care for it on warm either, but I'm going to warm it. This one is Pink Spreads Hope. It is 
Hope blooms in a bouquet of pink parfait rose and violet accented with leafy green. So this is a floral sounding bar. Pink parfait rose. Parfait rose is like your like big tea rose, like classic powdery rose type scent. Violet is a powdery floral as well. And leafy green, so we're gonna have a green note. So this one, I didn't read the description before I smelled this. This brought to mind something very specific. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like this, you guys. This one, it just makes my stomach turn. And the reason is because it smells like hospital. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if that's coming to mind because of the like cancer association, but I don't think so. Like, I think even if you didn't tell me what collection this was part of and I smell this, it smells like a hospital. I gave this to my husband to smell without even like telling him about the collection. He said it smelled like a dental office, like a dentist office with like grinding teeth and drilling. And like, it smells like antiseptic, like surgical preparation, like disinfectant, the hospital, medical, dental situations. I, I do not like this. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what I'm smelling. I'm not smelling rose and rose is such a distinct scent. You would think that's what I'm getting. I don't really smell rose and I don't really smell violet. I guess I could smell greens. I'm smelling like a medicinal antiseptic, like antiseptic is what I'm smelling. And like hospital laundry, like bleachy antiseptic iodine situation. This one is just, one of the worst bars I've ever smelled, honestly. <laughs> um, and I hate to say that because this is such a great collection. And the other three bars are fine. These are pleasant enough, um, but Pink Spreads Hope I cannot get on board with. I would love to know if you've smelled this collection, what you think of this one, um, or whether it's just me, but everyone I've had smell this did not care for this and thought it smelled really, really off. Um, so that is Pink Spreads Hope, but I think I can. Again, if you like a classic summer fruity floral, kind of along the lines of Aloha Orchid that we had recently, this is very pleasant. If you like black raspberry vanilla or like raspberry hibiscus tea, this one kind of smells like the same raspberry note as raspberry hibiscus tea. Um, this is actually very pleasant as well. This I think is a nice all year round like fruity type scent. So there's that one. That is positively pink, the raspberry vanilla sandalwood one. And then we have turn up the pink, which is probably the lightest of the four. And this one is Again, kind of a fruity floral and just kind of a springtime scent to my nose. This one is kind of a like cousin maybe to a springtime cousin to like hibiscus pineapple. This one is very pleasant as well. On the light side, I would say for all of these, I would say I would say bedroom bars. I don't know that any of these are going to be strong enough for an open layout, but I think they do kind of lend themselves well to being bedroom scents anyways with the kind of fruity floral tones we have going on there. So that is the Pink Awareness Collection. So three out of the four, I quite enjoy. Um, none of them are like stand out over the top amazing, but again, they're spring summer scents and I'm not a spring summer person. So if you are a spring summer person, and if you're a person who likes those fruity florals, I think that is worth checking out and worth ordering. Next up, we have the holiday collection in the little bag. So these will be available starting on October 1st at midnight as well. And this is the holiday bundle. And like I said, these will be available in bundle and save because there is no charitable donation with these. These are just a regular Scentsy collection. So these will be available in bundle and save for your buy five, get one free, or you can just buy the five bars and get the cute little bag as well. So there is that. Um, these bars will be available for Scentsy Club as always. So let's just kind of go through here. I have warmed one of these so far and I've only smelled the rest. So I'll let you know. Um, overall, this is a very solid collection. And I think if you're into holiday or winter or kind of cozy type scents, this is gonna be right up your alley. These are very, very good. There's not a dud in the bunch here. These are five fantastic bars. First of all, we have Rum Pum Plum, which is one I've been so excited for. I was hoping for something similar to um, Sweet Plum Pastry. And I wanted like a nice plum bakery type scent. So Rum Pum Plum, Sensi says, is sweet plum jam and vanilla sugar in a flaky buttery crust We'll have you singing a delicious melody. So it sounds like a bakery plum scent and it is, oh my gosh, I love this one. Like love. You get the flaky buttery crust. It is a similar flaky buttery crust to the crust in um, red, white and berry pie. That's what I'm getting here as far as crust goes. The plum is bright and fruity, almost reads a touch cherry to my nose, just a touch. 
Um, I think they may have possibly used a couple drops of cherry in there to kind of create the plum oil. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it is a sweet plum, sweet jammy plum, um, saturated plum. Vanilla sugar, I mean, not specifically. I'm getting a very bubbly baked, oh, think red, white, and berry pie, which is a bubbly bakery cherry scent, and make it plum. So like, yeah, bubbly baked cherry, but instead of cherry, it's, it's plum. This is saturated and juicy and bubbly and warm and so good. Like the buttery crust is there. This is wonderful. I love this one. Like one of my favorites of the collection. Um, that being said, I think it's not going to be for everybody. My mom smelled this, did not care for it at all. Um, at all. <laughs> but I love this. My husband enjoys this one as well. Um, yeah, I think if you're a bakery fan, you're going to enjoy this. Um, yeah, Rum Pum Plum is a winner for me. I think if you like sweet plum pastry, this is along that line and I think you're going to be happy. So yes, if you're looking for a bakery scent or if you're a sweet plum pastry lover and want something new, this is along that line. This is different from anything we've had recently. Again, the closest thing would be red, white, and berry pie, but this isn't really the same as that. This is just the same crust as that. But this is wonderful. And again, I wouldn't say this is Christmas or holiday. This is just warm, cozy bakery. I could see myself warming this in the springtime or in the summer on a rainy day. This is just a cozy bakery scent and I think it's good for all year round. This will probably be a club bar for me in the end. Next up we have Cranberry Candy Cane and this one has really cute packaging. This one is, in a twist on a traditional treat, fresh cranberries and pomegranate are swirled with peppermint sticks. So pomegranate, cranberry, and, and peppermint. And yes, the peppermint here is very much perfect peppermint peppermint. This is just peppermint. It is not like sweet vanilla candy canes. This is peppermint. So I do think you have to like mint. And the cranberry here is hard because I expected this to be kind of along the lines of like very merry cranberry mixed with peppermint. This isn't that cranberry. This is cranberry and again I think it is the pomegranate that I'm smelling. It's juicy and bright um, and minty. It, it And I like this one. It's very festive. This one is along the festive line. I would say this is holiday specific. Um, and I'm feeling like maybe on cold this one isn't melding, but I do feel like in the dish this is probably going to warm very nicely. Um, I love perfect peppermint. I love cranberry. I really like pomegranate too, so I can't see how this won't be a winner. Um, on cold, I think what I'm finding is just the mint is like not blending with the other two scents. The, the pomegranate and the cranberry are blending, but the mint is just kind of a separate entity from it on cold. I'm hoping on warm they kind of come together a bit better. But overall, this is very nice. This is a very pleasant scent, very festive, very, just very fun. And I think if you like fruity scents or if you like minty scents, I do think you have to like mint. Um, but I think if you like fruity scents or minty scents, you're going to enjoy that. And that's a fun one. That is cranberry candy cane. Next up, we have Cherry's Jubilee, which is my husband's favorite thing he's smelled so far this season. Um, this is Make Room for Dessert. Black cherry simmered with raspberry and a refreshing burst of zesty lemon. So black cherry, raspberry, and zesty lemon. So this one is going to be fruity. And yes, I wouldn't say this one is super bakery. This one, if you like bakery, you may like this. But this is a fruity bar rather than a bakery bar. I think you could do a lot with this bar as far as making it bakery if you wanted to by mixing it with like crumb top or with oats and honey. Um, I think you could do a lot that way to make this like a cherry cobbler. But on its own, this is beautiful. This is a nice balanced cherry type berry scent. Um, black cherry. I mean, yeah, it's it's different than the cherry in like maraschino sugar cookie. It's a different type of cherry to my nose. I think if you're a person who tends to perceive cough medicine from cherry, this may lean that direction for you. This one to me and to my husband's nose did not read cough syrup. And I do tend to be a little bit more sensitive to that, that note in, in cherry notes. Um, I don't get that here. I also don't get any kind of almond extract note because sometimes cherry scents will have an almond extract note. I don't get that here at all. So just FYI. Um, raspberry, I don't smell the raspberry specifically, but this is a brighter cherry scent. And I think what the raspberry is doing is adding a bright, juicy element to that cherry. And I think that's what that is. Um, 
Zesty lemon, again, I don't think I'm smelling lemon specifically. I'm smelling cherry. But I think that lemon is adding a brightness to this scent that it might not otherwise have. And I think the lemon is actually saving it from going cough syrup. Because I think that black cherry note on its own might. But the lemon is brightening it. And the raspberry is adding some kind of like sweet saturation here to that black cherry. And it's really nice. This is very, very pretty. Um, I think this, is, this smells like it's going to be a good performer. Um, cherry notes, in my experience, especially Scentsy cherry notes, overall tend to be very strong at first and they tend to die off quickly. But we're going to see what this one does. Um, it depends on what the other notes are. So we'll see how this one does in the warmers. I expect, to be, I expect it to be a good performer at least for a while. So that is Cherry's Jubilee and that one is a winner. This one I think would be open layout worthy for most open layouts just based on cold sniff, but I will try it in my open layout and let you know. Next up we have Sleigh Ride. And it is not a holiday collection without a pine tree scent. So here it is. This one is Journey Through the Snow and Amid Crisp Air, Fallen Fir Needle, and a Touch of Tart Cranberry. So we have Fresh Air, Crisp Air, Fallen Fir Needle, and Cranberry. So I like when they do that. I like when they take a pine tree scent and mix some berry with it. That adds some sweetness. And the fresh air. Yeah, this one does have a fresh air quality for sure. Um, the fresh air is quite noticeable here, actually. It is a fresh, bright scent. What scent is that? It's kind of a sweetness, like sweet fresh air, which again could also be the cranberry that I'm smelling as a sweetness. The pine tree here is very balanced, I will say. It doesn't smack you in the face with pine trees so much as some of the other like pine tree scents do. This is very well blended. So you do have the like fir needles, is it? Fir needles? Yeah. So you have your fallen fir needles. Um, but the crisp air, I would say, is the, the main thing I get. You do get fir needle, and that tart cranberry is pretty, and it's almost like a slightly perfumey cranberry. Yeah, this is nice. This is sweet and very well balanced. This is very approachable pine. So if you tend to be cautious on pine tree scents, this is a pine tree scent. Um, but it's a bit softened. I think if you liked Icicles and Evergreen or Pretty and Plaid, you might enjoy this. There is just a teeny perfumey touch to this. I'm not sure what it is. I think if you like um, Season of Magic from the Disney holiday, that one I believe is coming back as well. But that one has a like almost like grassy tone to the pine note, and I feel like this one has that as well. There is almost like a sweet grass note here as part of the green scent. It's really nice. So there is Sleigh Ride, and this is coming from someone who is not a fan of pine tree scents. I don't mind this one at all. So there is Sleigh Ride. And then my favorite, I think, of the five so far. And I have warmed this one. So this is the only one of the five that I have warmed. This is Vanilla Barnwood. It is a kind of pale pink um, peachy type wax. This one is <clears throat> Barnwood covered with creamy vanilla and rich amber conjure a picturesque snow covered countryside. So we have Barnwood, Vanilla and Amber. And this one smells exactly how I'd hoped it would smell. This one is vanilla creamy, cashmere cozy goodness. Yes. I almost get... Okay, so the main thing I get here is creamy vanilla. That is the main thing you get. You also get a woodsiness that could read sandalwood or even oud wood somewhere in there. I was worried that barn wood would smell dusty or old and I don't get that. So there's nothing old about this barn wood. This is like nice barn wood. <laughs> Clean barn wood. Um, the vanilla is beautiful here. I also feel like I get on the back more so than the front a tiny 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 hint that isn't in the notes of like lemon cream. And I think it's just adding brightness and lightness. But I would swear there's like a touch of lemon cream there. It's gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. I threw this in my warmers immediately. So this went in the bedroom. This is the lightest of the bunch on cold. Um, and I hope it's the lightest of the bunch on warm too, because this is very light. So because it is so light, I did double the wax. Normally two cubes in my bedroom warmer is sufficient. For this one, I did four. And even at that, this is very light. So I do think this is gonna age well. And I do have a video going up in the next few days about aging your wax and curing and how to tell what might be a good scent um, for aging or curing and what might not benefit with age. I do think this one's gonna benefit with age. 
This one reminds me a lot of Pacific Sandalwood and a little bit like a ladylike version of Vanilla Oud. Um, those are both bars that are discontinued that I absolutely love. And this one is along that same line. And Pacific Sandalwood people didn't care for because it was so light and it is a very light bar. That is a bar where I also would say double the wax and do it only in a bedroom. This is going to be the same type of bar, but Pacific Sandalwood and Vanilla Oud age extremely well. They get rounder and smoother and stronger with age. I think this is going to be the same with this one. I am willing to take that gamble. This is going straight in my club. And again, as with several of the other bars in this collection, this one is not holiday specific to my nose. This isn't even winter specific to my nose. This one is just a beautiful bedroom scent for year round. And I say bedroom scent because while I would love for my whole house to smell like this, this is not going to be strong enough to do that. This is absolutely gorgeous. The vanilla here is absolutely gorgeous. Like, if you like vanilla, you have to try this. If you are missing or have ever wanted to try Pacific Sandalwood, this is pretty close. This is a slightly cozier version of it. Um, and this is just ever so slightly feminine to my nose, just ever so slightly. And I don't know why it is because there's no floral notes here. There's nothing super feminine here. I think but it's just the coziness of the vanilla here. It's a creamy, sweet vanilla and it's beautiful. Yeah, this is going straight to my club and I could not love this more. Like this is top notch. I have this in my warmers right now. I came into my bedroom to grab something and I was like, oh my gosh, it is so nice in here. Like just, it's like an enveloping, cuddly, cozy scent. It's perfect for the bedroom. It's so soothing, so relaxing. If you try any bar from this collection, try Vanilla Barnwood, warm it to bedroom. There it is. So if I were to rank these five bars from preference of least favorite to most favorite, and again, I don't dislike any of these five bars. These five bars are great bars. If I had to rank them from like least favorite to most favorite, I'm going Sleigh Ride at the bottom. This is a very nice pine tree scent. I just am not super into pine tree or green scent. So that is why this one takes the bottom for me. It's a good scent, it's a good bar. I think if you like pine tree scents or those kind of classic holiday scents, this is the one. Um, so that's a good one. Just that's my least favorite of these five. Next we have Cranberry Candy Cane. Again, a really solid bar, one I'm excited to warm. Um, yeah, this is actually really good. Yeah, it's hard to rank these because I like them all quite quite a lot. So Cranberry Candy Cane is a very good bar. Again, fruity and minty. Um, the raspberry is kind of tempering that cranberry really, really nice. Cherry's Jubilee takes third. It probably beat out Cranberry Candy Cane only because my husband absolutely loved this. He just held it open against his face for like ages. He loved this one. And yeah, it is a nice cherry berry type scent. So Cherry's Jubilee. And again, I think this one has great mixing potential. Rum Pum Plum. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we have this. This one, I love this. Plum Bakery goodness. And if you hear chomping, that is my dog beside me here. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, if you like bakery or if you like um, like cozy, warm kind of like kitcheny type scents, Rum Pum Plum's a good one. And this one does smell fairly strong. I think it will be open layout worthy. And I do think this will age well as well. Um, and then finally we have Vanilla Barnwood. This one might be a highlight of the year for me. This is wonderful, like just wonderful. And I love Pacific Sandalwood so much. We don't have it in region one. I think region three has it still. Um, Vanilla Oud is not available anymore and I don't know if or when we'll ever see it again. So Vanilla Barnwood is a beautiful substitute and I think I like it just as much as I'd like Pacific Sandalwood, honestly. Um, is it light? Yes. Am I going to work with that? Also, yes. Um, just gorgeous. Don't write this one off because it's light, you guys. Like, I know performance matters. I know. But if you like the scent, sit on this for a while because I suspect, like Pacific Sandalwood, after six months to a year of sitting, this one's going to be absolutely stunning and plenty strong. So there is Vanilla Barnwood and I am in love with that one. So that is the holiday collection. Um, those five bars are all really solid. And again, those will be available October 1st, either in the bag or you can bundle them in a six pack. And then again, October 1st, we will have the pink awareness bars out. They will not be bundle and save. They will be in this box only um, as a package. So because you are making a donation, um, I would say with the donation, well worth getting. Um, nice to have those. These will be nice ones to even just tuck away for spring, summer, if you're not gonna use them right away. It is just a great cause to support. And don't forget to go onto the website to nominate um, the charities that you want to have received the funds. 
Also, just a quick note, not only is the holiday bar bundle available on October 1st, there's a bunch of stuff available. So the breast cancer collection, like I said, the whole breast cancer collection is releasing October 1st at midnight, along with the entire holiday collection. So not only the bar collection, but like the oils, the holiday warmers, the holiday buddies, all of that good stuff is coming out on October 1st. So we have a travel pillow, we have the poinsettia fragrance flowers. Now the sunflower fragrance flowers from the Harvest Collection sold out within hours. So I strongly recommend if you are wanting poinsettia fragrance flowers, I would say those are going to sell just as quickly, if not quicker, because people are going to want those for holiday gifts. Um, I would say get on at midnight um, Pacific time, 3 a.m. Eastern, and get those ordered because those are going to go quickly, I think. Because yeah, the sunflower ones went within like several hours. They were they came out at midnight. They think they were gone by like 9 or 10 a.m. the next day. So if you want the poinsettia ones, I would say get on early. The other thing I wanted to just mention before we hop off is the Mickey Mouse warmer. I had ordered the Mickey Mouse warmer for my daughter's room and I've already set it up. She could not wait. She wanted that set up in her room last night. So I did set it up for her. I will put pictures here of what it looks like lit and unlit. It is a ceramic 25 watt warmer. It is still in stock as I'm filming this, which is shocking to me. I thought this would be like a one day sellout situation. They did stock up well on this one. So yay for them. Um, it does sound like they're getting low in stock. So if you do want it, would be a good time to order it. Um, it is super cute. She loves it. It does have the wrap inside, um, kind of like the Starry's, the Spooky Stair warmer, the cat mini warmer. That one also has a wrap inside so that you can't see the bare bulb. So instead of seeing the light bulb inside the warmer through Mickey Mouse's face, you just see this like wrap and it's just kind of like a sparkly wrap. So you don't see any bulb glare, which I really, really like. I love that they're doing that. Um, I think that's a great feature. So I hope they keep doing that. So you do get the wrap inside and it is a super, super cute warmer. The actual entire warmer glows. So it's not just the face that lights up. The entire Mickey Mouse head does light up. The base does not light up, but the head itself does have a bit of a glow to it. It's so cute and she absolutely loves it. So there is that. Um, yeah, that is what I've got for you today. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you have a great weekend. We will see you in the next video. I would love to hear which of the holiday bars or the breast cancer awareness bars you are looking forward to the most. And if you, like me and others, are accumulating a pumpkin patch of warmers in your house, because I now have like several pumpkin warmers and I cannot get enough. I love the beautiful starry pumpkin and I can't wait to set that up as well. I will set up the Starry Pumpkin and put a picture on my Instagram at northern underscore lights underscore glow so you can check it out there if you want to. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys had a great week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.